How do you interpret the losing season of your life? So we assume, well, this went wrong. So God must be punishing me. Because the thing is, you know some secrets about yourself. Some things that you're not doing exactly right because we kind of live on an ego system of achievement to earn it, to, to get it in our own strength. We kind of go, well, God must be punishing me. But I saw something. Jesus said something. I'm going to do this backwards. Go to the second verse of John 15 first, where Jesus says, um, I don't know if you've heard this before, but he says, He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. Now I'm going to ask you something. Who is he? Put it back up. Who is he? If you don't know the answer to that, you will misinterpret the pain in your life every time. Look at it again. He prunes. Who is he? We love to give credit to the devil. So I'm, 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 I'm really glad for the context of verse 1. Because the context of verse 1 lets me know the motive of the one who is performing the task in verse 2. If you always think it's the devil attacking you, everything bad is the devil attacking me, you will miss the opportunity to bear fruit. But I love verse 1. Put it on the screen. I, Jesus said, I, I am the true vine. I'm the one you got to stay connected to. I'm the one who's in control. I'm the one who gives you sap. I'm the one who gives you life. I'm the one who gives you strength. I'm the one who gives you the ability to grow. And my, watch this, my father, my father, Abby said, what does fail mean? She figured she needed to get that definition from her father. I hear God saying, ask me about your life. Ask me what this see. Ask me what it means. See, here's what I know. Here's what I know. Even if life is cutting on me, God is holding the scissors. Even if a virus wrecked my plans, God is in charge of my life. He is curious, Lord, in control, in charge, on the throne, my Father. So, so you know what? I don't have a lot of answers. I don't have a lot of wisdom. I don't have a lot of knowledge, but I got a father. Somebody say, I got a father. <laughs> you ready for this? And if I got a father, that means fruit. This means fruit. This means he is bringing something out of this situation that is beyond my ability to predict or perform. I feel God calling some of us to release some things, even to release bitterness. Some of us, if we would release that root of bitterness, we would reap a harvest of peace. Now, how many things that the world calls success, how many things that the devil uses to get you to think, remember last week, that my life doesn't matter, it's just ego. He said, I got to get an ego. And then I start thinking about what I got. Somebody say, I got. Oh, put it in all caps in the worldwide EFAM chat. Somebody say, I got mercy. I got grace. I got love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. I got the fruit of the Spirit. Yeah. I got it. I got it. I didn't earn it, but I got it. We all go through disappointments, setbacks, loss. Pain is a part of life. It's easy to get discouraged, even bitter. Think, why is this happening to me? The key is what we do in our times of pain. Pain will change us. Now, how the pain changes you is up to you. 
You can come out bitter or you can come out better. You can come out defeated, giving up on your dreams, or you can come out with a new passion, a new fire. That pain is not there to stop you. It's there to prepare you, to increase you, to develop you. No pain, no gain. Every painful time, even though you don't like it, it's developing something in you that can only be developed in the tough times. Don't complain about the pain. Without the pain, we couldn't reach the fullness of our destinies. Don't just go through it, grow through it. Listen to me, pain is temporary. It may last for a minute, or an hour, or a day, or even a year. But eventually, it will subside. And something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. Y'all spoil. Some of y'all spoil. Just bottom line. Your parents have done everything for you. You never had to do nothing for yourself. You're spoiled. We're going to keep it real tonight. Some of you are spoiled brats. Every time you ever got in trouble, somebody in your house got you out of it. Every time you've done something you're not supposed to do, people say, Eric, your mother's a tyrant. You're right. She kicked me out. You're right. She's mean, but she developed a man because she put me out there and said, you're going to have to grow up. And some of you have never learned to grow up. And so every time something get hard, you quit, you call mama. I dare you to take a little pain. I dare you. I dare you not to go home. Somebody said, I don't go home. I feel bad. Go, go through it. You ain't going to die. At the end of pain is success. You're not gonna die because you're feeling a little pain. I'm not eating like I eat at home. That's why you're about to go to the next level because if you keep eating like you ate at home, you'll keep being a boy or a girl. It's time to become man, woman. But I'm exactly where I wanted to be because I realized I gotta commit my very being to this thing. I gotta, I gotta breathe it, I gotta eat it, I gotta sleep it. And until you get there, you'll never be successful in life. But once you get there, I guarantee you, the world is yours. So work hard and you can have whatever it is you want. I came to tell you about a God who can reroute. I, I came to tell you about a God who can reroute a mess and a messy situation. And you've been down to nothing. And everybody's looking at you funny. And you embarrass your family. And you embarrass yourself. And you embarrass your name and everything. I came to tell you that God is spinning. And when he gets through spinning, he's going to reroute you into something that you never had before. So Jesus says, go tell the disciples and Peter. I don't know whether he's even considered a disciple anymore, but I have not given up on him.